everybody, MBG here today with a quick hobby tip brought to you by Spiky Bits and Next Level Painting. Today we're going to talk about how to fix frosted and dusted over models. These are models that maybe you took outside to matte coat and they got frosted over or they've been on your shelf for way too long and they've got a little dust on them and maybe a little bit dingy, you know, just, just need some freshening up and it's really easy to do and you just kind of need an airbrush and a couple of different um, uh, liqueur sprays from Testors. This guy right here was a converted uh, Demon Prince Bellacor, of course, uh, that I've had it for quite a number of years, and it kind of sat on my uh, display case for a couple of years, of course, and it just kind of, you know, it's gotten a little dusty, a little dingy. It's not quite frosted, but I can kind of show you how, how we fix that. It's pretty easy. So first off, we're going to take some isopropyl alcohol and water mix here, and this is basically about 50-50 water and isopropyl alcohol. And is isopropyl alcohol, of course, you can buy from your store. It's like a dollar a bottle from any, you know, grocer or Walmart out there. And what that's going to do is that's going to basically freshen up the model. It's going to blow away the dust it's gonna actually like kind of detach the dust from the model and the paint so it's uh, it's pretty cool there so all I'm gonna do is just take my airbrush I just have my, my normal everyday airbrush here I'm just gonna pop some of this into it and then I'm just gonna kind of start hosing down the model basically it's super easy and we're just gonna go from there Now, if you take a closer look, you can probably see that the base has gotten a lot, a lot lighter. All that dust has come off that lava area down there, uh, right underneath the, the rocks, and it just kind of looks, you know, it just looks better right off the bat. So that kind of blew away all the dust and all the bad stuff on it. And now we're going to give it a minute to dry, and then we're going to hit it up with some uh, some special other tech. I'm going to show you. Okay, so it looks like it's mostly dry now. So what we can do, we have two different options at this point. Now that we've blown all the dust off it and basically brightened it up a, a little bit, kind of cleaned it off, cleaned all that, that static and, and dust and dirt and just all the junk that's built up on it over the last four years, we've got two different options. We can hit it with some of this uh, Model Master Semi-Gloss. And what this does is it restores it back and it gives it a little bit of a sheen. Uh, so if you don't like where it is after that, you can hit it up with the Lusterless the flat right after that and that'll get it back down to the nice a nice flat uh, basically base where it was before or if you like where it is at that point you can just stay with the semi gloss now a lot of times with frosted models and that isn't exactly what this model is but you can just hit it with the semi gloss and that'll kind of restore a lot of the original paint job just from that you might not have to use the alcohol and a water mix but sometimes it definitely helps uh, and then if you know if if it doesn't get to the point where you where you want it, like it's still got a little bit of a sheen to it, just hit it with the lusterless and then bring it back down. You know this. The really nice thing about the Model Master uh, liqueurs are uh, or lacquer, I guess. And <laughs> maybe I drink too much. Um, <laughs> is the fact that you can use it outdoors in any sort of humidity. It's alcohol based, so it's not going to get that. It's not going to get that that crazing and that frosting that that is the inherent problem to begin with. And, you know, being in the south where I am, the, south, the southeastern United States, we have about five months of the year where you just really shouldn't prime or, you know, seal mat coat your miniatures just because of the, the way the weather is outside. It's just very humid. So these two elements here uh, really get it done. So I'm not going to use a semi-gloss on this particular model here because it's still, it's still pretty bright, still pretty vivid, and I don't think I need to take it up anymore with the semi-gloss. But I am going to hit it with the lusterless. Uh, just because I think uh, I think it's a little you know I think it's a little too shiny you know we, we restored it back uh, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get it get it much higher so I'm just gonna hit it with a little of this uh, lusterless uh, mat right here and you can lay this on pretty thick like it you don't want you, you know if it looks wet it looks super wet you don't have to worry about it it will naturally dry now do not put this stuff under a fan because it, it will really mess it up. Uh, it'll spider web and do things like that. Just allow it to dry over time naturally and you'll see some really good results. So nice quick bursts back and forth.
and you can kind of see there where it is building up a little bit it is getting a little wet on it but that's okay like I said it'll it'll dry naturally as long as I leave that there until it's until it's dry completely there shouldn't be any problems and it'll get it a nice nice thinned out nice and flat uh, way less of a sheen from the alcohol and water and it should it should be good to go so that's pretty much it. I hope that helped you guys because I know after you spend hours and hours and hours uh, painting a model and just to have it frost when you go to seal it, it's a, it's a super letdown. So hopefully this helps you guys restore back your models and fix any mistakes uh, that you may have from painting and or trying to seal, uh, you know, matte, matte coat your miniatures. So that's it. Uh, make sure you stay in the trench. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Check out the blog, spikeybitsblog.com and listen to our podcast, forgenarrative.com. It's...